Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Lobo. The channel is called ZooPF Visual Effects. Of course, guys, this is a visual effects channel. For those of you who are new to the channel, if you actually enjoy that first 25 or 30 second video intro, you guys know what to do. Please like and subscribe as it always helps me make more videos like this. And for those of you who actually are visual effects artists, I really hope you guys actually learn a few tricks and trades here and there to go out there and create something even more cool. All right. That being said, today I'm gonna to show you guys my workflow on how I created this end credit here, inspired by video co-pilots Andrew Kramer's work on the uh, 2009 Star Trek film there. Now, what I'm gonna show you guys is not exactly how I created this whole entire scene here, but it's more like what I did so that we could have all of these titles and all the planets move back and forth, okay? Because if I showed you guys everything one step at a time, we'd be here for 10 hours. We just don't have that kind of time. All right, so here goes the workflow. Before we start, you guys do have to download a couple folders. One is under the description tab. It's a YouTube folder. In that YouTube folder, you'll find our ship here, the Enterprise. And now there's also a link below the description connecting you guys to that amazing artist. Also, you guys need to go to this website here and download the Cosmo Box bundle. Now in this bundle, you'll find all the assets that we'll need to create this very cool and credit, but there are so, many, so much stuff here that you guys can do other things too. The artist is right here. This is who it is. Super cool dude, also super talented. All right, let's get started right away so we're not wasting time anymore. Okay, so I thought I had two folders here. So one is just, you know, your master folder and one's your composition. Always organize yourself. I'm a huge advocate of that. I'm gonna keep everything at 4K, but if you guys can't do that, do 1080p, please. I'm just gonna call that end credit and click enter. Once you are here, go to layer, new, and we're gonna start a new solid. We're also gonna call that end credit. There you go go down to effect video code pilot element once you're here click scene setup and here we are right here now move your whole entire screen so you can see it just like that also go down to your models and his folder should look like this nd dominic rack cosmo box click here we're gonna go down to planets and we're gonna go down to detail planets now guys these are very detailed planets which means is going to be taxing on your computer even on my super awesome computer here it's still pretty taxing because i'm doing everything 4k and it's high resolution okay my hope is down the road after effects become a gaming platform visual effects software and element 3d becomes a full-fledged 3d modeling application software uh, because as you guys know a lot of visual effects are now done in gaming engines but that being said, uh, let's just, just go and click some planets. You guys can choose any planets you want. Just make sure you guys follow how I do it, okay? But I'm gonna click on this one, and then I'm gonna click on that one, and then I'm gonna move it right here like this. And I'm gonna click on this right here, and I'm gonna put it right here just like that. All right, doesn't need to be perfect right now. And then I'm gonna click on this one here, and I'm gonna move it here just like this. And I'm gonna click on this one here, and I'm gonna move it out like that. But for this, I'm gonna to move it upwards like this, okay? So once everything looks like this, I want you guys to click OK. Once we click OK, it's gonna show up just like that. Now, what I want you guys to do is go ahead and create a new camera. And we're gonna keep this camera at 200 millimeters. Okay, click OK. Once we are here like this, I want you guys to go down to views and click two. Now, once we are here, we are gonna zoom in and make sure our planets are right where they need to be, okay? Now, you wanna start from a scale of 100 and just work your way down to about 10 or 5% of the scale, okay? Um, because if you don't do that, you're gonna lose track of where your planet planets are and it's gonna be super frustrating if and when after effects becomes a gaming platform engine we're not gonna have that problem anymore because the next time we look into after effects it'll look just like this where you can zoom out totally zoom out and know where everything is right but we can't do that yet all right and that's that's the frustrating part Okay, that being said, click OK again. Well, if you haven't done that, it's okay. But if you did, because you follow my instructions, click OK again. 
just zoom out on both so you can see where things are okay now once we are here all we're going to do is just set our cameras where we want things to go all right so I know for a fact right now I'm seeing too much of the other planets and I don't like that so I'm gonna go back here and I'm just gonna move some of the planets out of the way okay so we're gonna move these totally out of the way so if you're wondering hey how'd you do that click on the planet right away just right click on your mouse okay and then just move the planets right out of the way okay so just click okay okay now that they are out of the way let's go and start setting our keyframes okay so first set keyframes here for your point of interest and your position give it about two seconds and then set new keyframes and from two to three let's just go ahead and zoom out into our planet okay because you want this to be super quick you guys can go even quicker if you want to and it's fine from three to five we're going to set two more keyframes because that's where you're going to put your title and from five to six that's when we're going to rotate our point of interest to our planet here and it's just a matter of finding it there it is it's right there okay once it's right there, what you want to do is you want to zoom, oops, wrong one, the Z. There it is. Just zoom into it, and it's fine if you don't see it yet, because we'll just make sure that we can see it properly. Okay. And do we want to Z it out? Maybe we do. Let's just go and Z it out down, boom, just like that. Okay. Once you are here, give it about another two seconds, set few frames on it and about nine seconds let's just go and move to our other planets let's see if we can see them and here they are just like that all right so what I want to do now is I want to go back to my scene setup and I'm going to move these two planets where I believe they would do much better and I'm just gonna move them out and I want to make sure that my camera can still see it okay there it is and they look better already because they're much smaller but I'm gonna move it like this because I know when I move it back it's gonna be on this side here so go back to your scene setup and just move them back into uh, just, well, just move them back further I guess and we're gonna continue to do that until it looks better okay I think here it looks pretty good but what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna move that white plant and I move this white planet over to the side like this okay and I'm gonna keep doing that until it's in a spot where I actually like it okay I think that looks pretty good right there just like that okay and once we're here of course let's just make sure that we're setting our keyframe here now what you want to do too is if you want you can move the planets really far out okay and you can just zoom in into it and let's just go in and do that so it's gonna give, give us that very cool uh, you know zoom out planet so let's just move all the planets all the way out here okay now we're not gonna see our planets anymore so what you want to do is we can either uh, uh, I'm sorry not zoom in we can try to find them just by moving our camera around like this okay now that we know they are way out there we're just gonna keep them here and we're gonna go back and we're gonna send them way out again way out there okay all right boom they're way out there now and what you also want to do is the further you go you have to make sure that your camera can go far into in this distance so you're gonna crank this up all the way as far as you can go which is about this number here and for your camera near plane take that down to one Okay, once we are here, what we want to do is grab our camera and simply zoom on the Z into our planet. Okay, and then we are going to move this out just like this. Okay, so once we are here, let's give it two seconds. And then at one second, we're going to have that rotate. Oops. I know my other planet is here now I don't want that 
Oops. I'm just gonna keep it like this. And what I wanna do now is I wanna go here, I wanna click on this, and I wanna do from the right side, okay? Now I know my camera is here. I know our other planet is up there, so what we wanna do is we just wanna move up a little bit and then go back to our front view. And make sure we find our planet. And it's right here. Sorry guys, I uh, I said top but I clicked front by accident until I realized it was not doing what I wanted to do is because I was on I was on front. Okay, now that I know it's right here, then we can zoom right into it too, okay? And so at that moment right here, you have two choices. You can do the pivoting for one second, and then you can do the zooming for 13. But for fun, let's do everything in one second. Just like that and let's just go down to a y axis and put it where we feel it should be okay all right so once we are here like this we'll just go and set another keyframe for um two seconds and let's just see what it looks like okay so let's just go in and do quarter and click speed the space bar and let's just go and make this one view and click the space bar and see what happens so we zoom in we pivot and we pivot again and there it is just like that okay so let's see what it looks like so we are we zoom in we've got two seconds for the title we switch to the other side two seconds for the title and once again once we get here that totally disappears why does it do that we're moving so quick that it's gone so that's a problem right there and then you get right here okay and then once we are here, then we have one second to move out of the way and boom, we do this. Now this looks really cool, okay? And that can only look like this is if your planets are not on the same X level, okay? So let's go ahead and look at this problem right here. What's happening here? So let's go back to our two views. Let's zoom in and let's see what's going on. So we are here. And this is what's happening. This goes that way and then it goes like that. So how can we fix that? Well, the one thing we can do first is we can move all of these one second forward. Then once we are here, we are going to move this one second right there. So now we're here and now you can actually see the planet move out of the way and then it slowly goes here and boom we zoom in just like that okay and so that's the reason why i asked you guys to keep everything at 100 percent right now so once you see what you're doing at 100 percent, then you can go back and take your planets down to 50 percent. okay but one thing that you guys can also do now is you can also get super creative let's say at this last planet here we are right here and we just want to give it a few things in the background. So let's go and do that really quick. So I'm gonna save so I don't lose anything. And click scene setup. And let's just go to our last plan, click here so we can see what we're doing. And right there, I'm just gonna go back to this folder and I'm just gonna click debris and I'm gonna say, you know, gem. Now my gem is all the way down here. so. Oops, sorry. I'm gonna move all the way up, go like this, and go like that. So I'm gonna move it here to make sure that we can even see it first. Just totally throw the gem into the planet and click OK. OK, we know for a fact it's there. So now that we know for a fact it's there, we just move it in a way where we can still see it. 
Okay, and the reason why I say you should, you need to do it this way is because, again, we already set keyframes. So it's if you move your camera around, and you're gonna mess up all your keyframes, okay? So I know that I moved it right, and moved it, it, it went this way, so I need to move it that way. So I need to move it like this and like that. And I'm gonna move it up a tiny bit and let's see what it looks like. So there it is right there, okay? So let's just go in and go like this and it's just shrink this down to 20 and let's just duplicate a whole bunch of these, okay? And then click on this icon here and just rotate them in different locations. Boom, just like that. And for these, let's just put them on, because we have five planets. Uh, we have six planets, no, actually five planets. So I'm gonna put them on the auxiliary six, all of them. And I should have done that first before I duplicate them, but that's okay. Okay, and then just click OK. And now they are here right there. So now what you want to do is go down to your uh, group one and go down to the auxiliary channels. And on the sixth one, go down to rotation, click on the Alt. And right here, we're going to write an expression and we're just going to write time times one now watch what happens they are rotating I'm sorry it's really hard to see um, I'm I'm just gonna crank this up to five so you guys can see it I could see it but you guys probably had a hard time seeing it so I'm gonna press the space bar again, and now you'll see it for yourselves, okay? There it is, just like that. So if you wanna give it some realism, that's how you do it, okay? So let's say we want this to rotate too, right? So we'll go, go back to our scene setup, and then let's make this planet, let's throw this planet on auxiliary channel five, okay? And then just click okay, and then just go to auxiliary channel five, go down to your rotation, and here, same thing on the Y axis, Click Alt and then write your expression time time five. Okay, so now let's watch all the what's the planet and these move at the same time. Gives a bit of realism, but plus it makes things look pretty cool too. Okay, all right. So that takes care of that. I hope you guys understood this first part here on how to move from one planet to the next. Okay, I kept everything at a hundred percent because I just want to show you guys my workflow so you guys have a better understanding of how things work. All right. From here, you guys, up to you guys, make the planet moves around, throw more stuff on the planets, make it look very cool, okay? And the last thing I need to show you guys too, since I'm here, creating a light for it, okay? Because the light works the same way as your camera. So an example would be, okay, so from, um, from here to here, I want my light to be right here, okay? That's okay, you can do that. So what you have to do is set keyframes here, okay? To make sure everything is as is. And as soon as you get from here to here, you're gonna want your light to be somewhere else, right? So you just have to make sure that you set new keyframes and from here to here that you decide where you want the camera to go, okay? So now I want my camera to actually be like this because I want to see these creators that looks really cool. All right, you can do that and make sure you click on your point of interest too. And now make sure that these are in between your motions so that by the time you get there it's already there okay i hope this makes sense too all right guys that takes care of how to move from one planet to the next with the lighting and doing some really cool things all right the next thing i want to show you guys is putting titles where they belong okay so in order to do this we have to go back to our first scene here so right here let's just go in and go to the point where we actually zoom into it already so there it is right here it's zoomed in and it looks good okay so once we are right here go here and just type in you know um blah blah land of the blah blahs Blah blah land of the blah blahs. Okay, so once we're here, let's just go ahead and move it down here like that. I'm gonna actually move my light up a little bit. 
once you are here it looks exactly what we want which is great now we're gonna want to go down to custom layers and you want to do the text and mask here you want to click in the blah blah land of the blah blahs okay and once you are here like this then you can take this out now let's go back to our scene setup and in our scene setup I want you to click extrude once you click extrude here's your blah blah land of the blah blahs okay it's right there and it's ready for us to go all right so once we are here I highly encourage you guys to start organizing put things in folders uh, because if you don't do that it's going to be super super frustrating so textings and I'm just going to throw that in there and for these I would totally have you guys put them all in each folder like planet one two three four five and then the gems you can throw that in planet five okay once again it is a tutorial I'm just gonna skip that part uh, but I encourage you guys to do that okay once we are here now we know that our camera is looking at us this way okay so what you want to do is you just want to go ahead and move this in like this all right and so zoom into it and decide what you want to do too okay so for me I wanted this to be 10 and I wanted that to be negative 5 now it looks like this and you have to pick uh, your font from After Effects okay and once you are here which is really cool uh, you guys can pick any of these textures that are already on the planet so let's just go ahead and copy this one here boom just like that kind of cool right okay click OK and we know it's totally way too big so you just have to go back in here and just scale it down to where you believe it's gonna look cool all right click OK and it's still too big so this is the part where you have to decide if your title is too big like you have too much stuff written or if you should move things down to make it look like you know a fit in the whole entire thing and so here that looks good but now it's too small so how about I say 22 and just click OK okay I'm, I'm even gonna go even bigger than that how about we say uh, and click OK. There you go. Blah blah land of the blah blahs. And so let's go ahead and go back here and let's go down to our render settings and let's just throw some glows in there. Okay, boom, just like that. Glow looks pretty cool. And I'm gonna throw some uh, shadows as well because I already have a light in there. I'm gonna crank this up to 4K. Since I used a parallel light, I'm gonna crank this up to 4K as well. And let's go ahead and put some MB inclusion in there. I usually like to crank up my MB inclusion to about five, and there it is, okay? So, your title is there, so when it zooms in, boom, the title will be right there, okay? And then when it zooms in to the other, you just have to make sure that you have a title right there. So let's just go ahead and create that right now, right away, so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about, okay? So I'm only gonna do is just duplicate this one again, okay? I don't need to get too crazy. I know I'm going over there, so let's just go ahead and move this one over here like this. And let's just put it here like that, okay? Because we have no idea how the camera sees it. The camera sees it this way now, so all we have to do is just rotate it and move it in a way where the camera can see the whole thing better all right so i'm gonna rotate it like this and i'm just going to move it back here like that and see if the camera sees it the same way i see it all right and so there it is i'm just gonna move it back again to where i believe the camera sees it okay and now i'm just gonna move it back in z space to make it Hopefully that will shrink it down and click OK. Okay. And now it's just a matter of playing with the scale. I'm gonna take that down to 20 and click OK. Alright, already it's done to look pretty good. Just move that out a little bit out there, just like that and like that. Click OK. Alright, there you go. You know, it's not perfect, but I'm just showing you guys the workflow of how I did that. Okay, so from right here, right here, we zoom in and blah blah land of the blah blahs, and then it moves on here. Oh, look at that, more blah blah lands of the blah blahs. But it's all right there. All you guys gotta do the same thing for all the other planets. You guys wanna put 6,000 planets in there? Go ahead, just make sure you have 6,000 titles next to the planets, okay? Once you're there, that's pretty much it for the title, guys.
All right, let's go ahead and work on the background here. So we know that our scene is in 4K, and if yours is in 1080p, you want your background to be in 4K. And since this is in 4K, I'm actually gonna make the background about 6K, all right? So I'm gonna start a new composition, and I'm just gonna say 6,000 by 4,000, all right? And once it's like this, I'm just gonna go back and make this a one view, and I wanna go here to new, Create a solid, and we're just gonna call that um, flare. Whoop. Actually, not flare. Nebula one, and then the other one will be Nebula two, and then go down to your effect, video called pilot, and optical flares. Once you're here, click options, and go down to your browser. I always like to pick this one again because it has less of these to pick, and plus. It actually makes the nebula look pretty real. Okay, once you're here like this, click OK and go down to your effects and preset and just type in this. Oh, not this. This. Then use the turbine display, displace, throw that on there, crank that up to 10, crank this up to about 200, and click. Click, uh, crank this up about 250 just like that looks really really cool really realistic once you are here move it in a place where you want it to be make sure this is set on screen mode and then click Control and D to duplicate it once you're here click here and just bring it back down here like that okay once you have both our nebulas looking like this we're just gonna change the colors I like red and blue. That combination looks super awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna take this down to about red, just like this, and I'm gonna take Nebula 2 to about blue, okay, just like that. And just click OK. Once you have this like this, we're just gonna go back to our scene here, and we're gonna throw our Comp 1, which we need to name that to Nebulas, right below here, just like this, okay? Now, we know our our nebulas are enormous here so one thing you can do is you have two choices you can either crank it down scale it back down a little bit just like that or you can keep it the way it is okay so for us I'm just going to keep it at 100 and what I want to do is just move so we can go back to one view for this and so when we are moving around our nebulas have to move with it and it creates realism that we are moving in a 3d 3 world which we are but it just gives it more realism so from here to here we are zooming in right so as we zoom in we need our nebulas in the background to zoom in too so let's go ahead and set a keyframe here and at three seconds let's just zoom it in at 102 so let's see what it looks like boom just like that that looks pretty good and from here to here we are moving from five to six seconds we're moving from uh, right to left and so we're gonna set a new keyframe here and from here to here we're just going to make sure you click here and just move it that this way just like that okay well it's not on the scaling my apologies so I'm going to undo everything that I just did and I need to move this to our position so click P and at five seconds then set your keyframe then at six then move it there you go so this is what it looks so far Okay, and from eight to nine, we are continuing to move to the right. So we're gonna set a new keyframe. And at nine, let's just move it like this. And we're actually gonna zoom in too, right? So from eight seconds, we need to go back to our scale. So click S, set a keyframe here. And at nine to 10, we're going to zoom in at 103 okay so let's see what it looks like so far boom there it is the backgrounds moving great 
and it's zooming in now. So, you know, maybe 104. Let's over exaggerate that just so we can see the change better. Boom, 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 and boom, just like that. Okay, so from here to here, what's happening? Now we're moving back. We're moving back to the right, but we are also going up. So click P to go back to position. So first, we're gonna move right, okay? So let's go and do that right now. And then we're also going to be moving up. So on that last keyframe, go like this. So now let's see what it looks like. There you go, we're moving at that angle, all right? Oh, just like that. All right, so let's just go ahead and um, I'm gonna set this to a quarter and I'm just gonna click my space bar and see what it looks like. Okay, and we're just looking at the background. There it is, just like that, okay? So from here to here, it's doing what we want, that's beautiful. From here to here, it's doing that too, which is great. So from here to here, and then from here to here, it's zooming in. There you go. So what you can do to make things more smooth is you can make sure that these have an exponential rate to them, okay? So from here to here, let's say all of these, I want all of these to, whoops. I want all of these to have an exponential rate. So easy ease is what I want. And I want to go back to my scaling and I want them to have the same thing too. And what it's going to do is going to give that smooth look that we want, okay? So boom, we're zooming in and the background looks good. There you go, just smooth, just like that, very smooth. There you go. And can we do the same thing for the camera too? Absolutely, okay? So from here to here, from here to here, every seconds that we have, we're just gonna set a keyframe, or not a keyframe, but an exponential rate, okay? So, I'm gonna do the same thing here. From here to here, that's when it's moving there, so here's your keyframe there. And here's your other keyframe right there. And from here to here, we're gonna set two keyframes. I mean, not key friends, I'm sorry. Easy ease, exponential rate, okay? So now let's see how the whole thing looks. You should have a much, see, much more smooth. There it is. It, the flow is much smoother and it looks greater. And that's what you want, okay? Just like that. Okay, guys, so that takes care of the background plus a few keyframes that you learn to make things a little bit more smooth. All right, let's go and throw our Enterprise ship in there. So for that, let's go and start a new solid. We're just gonna call that Enterprise. 4K for me, 1080p for you. If you can do 4K, click OK. I want you to put that right above the end credit. Go to Effect, Video Code Pilot, Element, click Scene Setup. Now, I already saved mine under my models but I'm gonna show you guys why this enterprise is awesome but it's also time consuming to uh, texture okay so mine is doo -doo 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 right here there it is I'm gonna click uh, normalize the size let me see it's right here so instead oh, that's where it is it's at five percent. I'm sorry. I was looking for the normalized size, but I it, it was in a folder. So there it is right here. I already put all the te all the textures and everything on it. That's why it looks pretty cool like that. Okay, but this is what I want to show you guys. Super time consuming putting it together. Okay, the artist who created this Enterprise Starship did it this way so that you would have full control over how you want it to look which is really cool guys and some artists like to do it this way and other artists take it to a software like Quixel where it's just one texture that covers everything okay I prefer that way only because when a time crunch alright so this took me like an hour to texture 
which was crazy. And I told myself once it's textured, I'm just gonna save it because I don't want to deal with this again. But that's how it looks. And for now, I actually want you guys to keep it at 100 before you take it down to 5% scale. Okay, click OK. And here's our ship. Now go here and go down to render, not render settings, world transform. And I want you guys to click create. This is gonna create a null that is specifically designed to help us move the enterprise around. Now let's go back to two views so we can see exactly where it is. The enterprise is in the center. So what you wanna do now is you wanna bring this up because we want it to be close to the camera and our camera is way down there, okay? So let's just go ahead and do that. There it is. Okay, there it is right there. Now, what you want to do now is you want to rotate it. And however you want the ship to come through, it's totally up to you guys, all right? Totally up to you guys, okay? So, I say I want the ship to come through here like this. I want it to move a little bit out like that. And I just want it to move to us like this, okay? So what you want to do now is you want to go back to your enterprise solid. You want to go to render settings and you want to make sure your camera cut off. The near plane is at one, okay? So that it can get super close to you and it's not going to get too crazy. And you want to just crank this up all the way to as far as you can go, all right? Okay, once it's like this, we're just going to zoom this out all the way in like this. Set the keyframe here. We're going to be playing with the camera movements here. So we know from here to here, it's gonna be zooming in. So what I wanna do is from here to about right, well actually to about right there, I want it to be coming back to us. So I'm gonna crank this up all the way down like this. And the reason why I'm doing it by hand right now is because I wanna show you guys, okay? And then we're gonna just bring it back into the frame. It's here this way now and we're just gonna click on the X. We just want this to be like this. Flying back to us like that. Okay. And when it's like this here, we're just gonna keep it have it keep going. And from here to here. We're from here to here, we're gonna want it to just go up like this. So how do we do that? Very simple. Go here, make sure you're on the right, and just zoom in like this, okay? Now, where's our enterprise? Our enterprise is all the way here, okay? And because this enterprise is not within our main folder here, we can do whatever we want with it. And the reason why I want you guys to do it this way is so that you have more control of it. Now, if you want the enterprise to be in the real environment that these planets are, then you keep it in here. But when you keep it outside, it's not gonna run through any of the 3D meshes. And so we can cheat the shots as many times as we want, okay? So once we are here, let's just go ahead and have it move up like this. It's moving up like that, okay? But I'm gonna bring this back. Like this because I want it to move up in a gradual shape here so it looks nice just like this then it's moving up from here to here we're gonna be playing with this oh not that I always get these mixed up I make it go up like this okay so uh, I say negative 35 it's not bad so from here to here, I'm going to set my keyframe and then back here, I'm just going to take it back to zero. Okay. So now let's just see what it looks like. Okay. So I'm going to make that a quarter and I'm just going to click space bar. There it is. And now the camera is going to zoom in. Boom. And it just keeps going. All right. Pretty cool, right? So what you can do is you can make it go even faster, all right? So we know from here to here is there. So, okay, so how about we make it that from when it's right here, it's already there, okay? 
So once again, there it goes right there. It's moving faster. Camera zoom in. Boom. That looks so much more cool. But it's taking forever to get up there. So what you want to do? What you want to do is you just want to get these to move faster. That's it. All right. So let's try that again. Boom. Just like that. Kind of cool, right? So now all you guys have to do is just add some motion blur to that. All right. So there it is right there. Uh, we're just gonna say on and we're just gonna crank it up to 12. Now I cranked mine up to 64, okay? Because I didn't like that right there. So I cranked it up to 64, but what you guys can also do is do 12 and take that to 45 too. And if you take that to 45, you know, you might get a different kind of blur. So if that's the blur that you want, then that totally works too, guys. So let's just go and do that right now and see what it looks like. So I'm gonna go back to one view, crank this up a little bit, boom. And I just see, boom, just like that. Once we get here, boom, it goes out, all right? So let's try that again. There it is, just like that, okay? And if you want it to go faster, you can too. So in my scene, as you can see, I made mine look go super fast, all right? So that's pretty much how you do that with the Enterprise. Now, do you have to control the Enterprise over and over again? Don't do that, guys. It's just, it just hurts. Create a new solid. So let's say for this scene, right? When we move here, create a new solid with the Enterprise. And then, again, go down to the World Transform and then create a new node for the Enterprise. And just name that Enterprise 1 and the other one is Enterprise 2. And from there, all you guys gotta do is control the new Enterprise and it just goes right across, okay? And the reason why I don't want to do this right here because we're running out of time, okay? This tutorial has to be short, but hopefully you guys understood what I meant to say by that, okay? So you're going to have, you have five scenes, five planets, and so you're going to need five Enterprise scenes to just go right across, okay? Five solids of the Enterprise ship. All right, guys, that takes care of that. Hey guys if you guys found my tutorial super helpful if you guys thought my workflow was great for you guys and you know exactly how to make this scene now the rest is up to you guys to just make it even more cool put some asteroids all over the places do the color grading do the color corrections and create that scene that you have in your vision okay once again if you found this super cool you guys know what to do please like and subscribe it always helps me make more videos like this when you guys do and for those of you who are visual effects artists I really hope you learned something today too to go out there and create something even more cool. All right, guys, that being said, my name is Lobo. The channel is called Zoo PF Visual Effects, and you've just been part of the channel. We'll see you guys next time. Bye bye now.